trust me, I know. But before I go, I just want to get this off my chest. That shit was not my fault. Y'all are trash. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Y'all are trash. Like, y'all are so trash. I want you to know that I'm talking to you. So I'm going to say your name. Then I'm going to call you trash. Kawhi Leonard. You trash. Patrick Beverly. You trash. Paul George. Paul George, listen to me when I say this. You are trash. Now, I deserve to be fired. Don't get me wrong. I'm not disagreeing with the decision they about to make. Because I left you out there for 38 minutes. I deserve to be fired. You wasn't doing shit. I've seen it all 38 minutes. Kawhi Leonard. If I see your name on another top 10 list, I'm going to kill somebody. I better not hear your name compared to LeBron again or I'm going to kill somebody. I don't want nobody saying Kawhi Leonard and LeBron James in the same sentence, not in the same paragraph, not in the same essay, unless trash comes after Kawhi Leonard's name. And that's all I got to say. Fire me. Fuck this whole organization. I'm gone. <laughs> the other day, while I was doing the dishes, my mom asked, Noah, are you done yet? I answered, Tokyo Metropolitan Cursed Technical College Sister School in Kyoto. And she smiled, cause she knew they were washed. Them niggas at Kyoto are trash. Trash at everything and anything that they do. And I don't know why. I have never seen a more sorrier school in anime or real life. And trust me, I have seen a lot of bad schools. When I first saw these guys, I had high hopes. They had cool designs, bad bitches that could throw hands, and a smoking hot teacher. After what they were doing in JJK Zero and the exchange event, I was so hyped. Cause I thought shit was really about to go down in Shibuya. The first red flag was that all these niggas got washed by Yuta in the exchange event. Yuta, Yuta Okotsu, Mr. Throughout the trees and the bushes, I alone and the camping one, the sneak nation president. And it was obviously Yuta and Yuta alone. Cause Panda, Inumaki, and my wife weren't doing shit against Toto or Mekamaru. That was the first sign. The next red flag was during the exchange event when Hanami and company pulled up. During the special grade attack, these niggas were putting up Tony Snell numbers, getting some straight cardio. Miwa was snoozing, Watch Hitler was too busy getting bounced off the wall, Broom Girl wasn't doing shit at all, and the rest of them were full of Amelia Earhart, AWOL, nowhere to be found, besides Toto. And this starts to become a huge trend, while Toto is busy getting active, these guys are doing nothing. And this is why none of them, and I mean none of them, got recommended for grade 1 at the end of season 1. They were trash. Even Toto knew it himself. That's his own gang. That's his squad. But the final sign was Mekamaru. Mekamaru himself said on the train to Shibuya that these niggas could not hang. He straight up told them to go home. Miwa started asking if she was useless, which she is. And this nigga started calling them all out by their government names. Straight up said, y'all not built for this. Go home. This dude even made them take a mission away from Shibuya, dog, so they wouldn't be there. And you know what's funny? They got mad. They were pissed that he said that. So the best they could have done was stay on business, spin back for their day, homeboy, and prove him wrong, right? <laughs> this should have sold it for me, bro. I should have gave up on them right here. This fight against Kenjaku was probably one of the worst showcasing of abilities I have ever seen. All that talk about how dare Mekamaru call us weak. And when the time finally came to stay on business, they got embarrassed. Folded faster than one of those whack ass PowerPoint transitions that you be seeing at school. The only one that actually attempted to spin back was Miwa. And even she got cooked. A weekend Choso, who just came back from fighting his demons, and Yuji, was out here putting up more work than this bitch ass nigga. Talking about some who? Me? Yes, you nigga! And don't get me started on that girl Mai, bruh. They call her 007. Zero wins, zero relevance, and seven shots missed per fight. Her performances are so bad that they almost start to make me agree with that lunatic from the Zenin clan. But then I come back to my senses. And Broom Girl? Holy shit. All that talk about whoever makes my junior cry or die. Then threw a Wingus that wouldn't have been powerful enough to blow away an ant. The only one here who should die is you. Out here talking about some. Yuji, we're the only ones left. We? Nigga, who is we? We as in French? 
we as in the console, there is no we. And damn, that fight against Kenjaku was the final straw. After watching that shit, I never wanted to see them niggas on my screen again. And luckily for me, I won't have to. Utahime, what the fuck were you teaching these kids, bruh? Got the top scorers in the school, but when it comes to fighting, y'all niggas are ass. Just disband the whole program, dog. Send Toto and Mekamaru to Tokyo. That's where they belong. The rest can just go die. I could care less. 